Hello everybody, this is All Says Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dave the Diver. In the previous episode, we returned to the Glacial Passage, got our payback on the Narwhal, and managed to gather up some materials without getting killed. Yay! We also had our showdown with Alex, which, of course, we won. Got some new recruits for our staff that we kind of desperately needed. And made a boatload of money, most of which I have already spent, which reminds me, I need to go to the fish farm to open some things up. Alright, open up the glacial area. Okay, what was I? Right. Let's see, do I finally have some, uh... No, not yet. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna sell those off. I'm selling off some of the deeper fish can net you some good cash. Not as much as you would get from, say, the, uh... From making fish out of them, but if you don't really need the ingredients... Then a little extra cash never hurts. Okay, I think, first things first, we are going to head for the Sea People Village. No parties coming up that we really need to be going after fish for, so... Let's head up Nyamo. Plus, I would like to see if we f can finally start growing some bulk help. Would be nice. Also, it looks like there's... Aha! Glad you cleared the path to the glacial area. I was able to get some seaweed seeds. <laughs> Check these out too. You can cultivate them at Gumo's farm. Black coral seeds, southern bull kelp seeds, and buck bean seeds. Sweet. May as well start upgrading these. And get these ones that he just gave us for free. Thank you very much. into the farm. Now... Oh. Nope, not yet. There is a quest that only triggers uh, once you have... triggers when you call the beluga. But apparently we haven't reached the point where that's a thing just yet. They're not quite ready. Well, let's go for the southern bull kelp, and let's go for the buck bean seeds. Because I don't know if we have anything that requires black coral just yet. Ooh, ooh, something else. Head into here and register our weedy sea dragon. Because the sea dragons are some of the best that you can get in terms of racing. Okay, now let's head to the temple and see if Niamo can help us. Also, I do still need to get my hands on some pelican eel skin. Hmm? Suwam, what are you doing here? You reading the book? Heh, <laughs> are you surprised? My keen analytic abilities come from the books I read. Oh, long time no see, human. I was sorting books. How can I help you? Can you take a look at this picture? It looks like an ancient spell, but I can't understand what it means. Hmm. Hmm. I can roughly understand it. Where was the stone slab located? 
thrown up a large closed door in the glacial area. Mm -hmm. I see. According to the book, there are three large doors in the glacial area. And inside those doors is a switch that will lead to the Divine Tree Control Room. I did an analysis and have found that the earthquakes are caused by this Divine Tree Control Room. Mm -hmm. Activating all the switches and you will be able to access the Divine Tree Control Room. <laughs> well, that's not going to be easy. How am I supposed to open the door? Open the big door? I have materials referring to the door. Let me see. Here it is. You need to cast a spell to open the door. But I don't speak the language of the sea, people. Uh, of course not, then. Why don't you bring Suam with you, then? Uh, Suam, you say? Human, you can do nothing without me. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, looks like you're in trouble. I will give you a hand this time. Oh, I'm not sure about this. Best of luck to you, Suam. May King Long's protection be with you. Stop worrying about me. Just lead the way, human. Are uh, we gonna go there instantly, or...? Yep. Hmm. This must be the door. Well, I am supposed to cast the spell Niyamo taught me. Watch and learn, human. Well, it worked. Well, the door really opened. I am impressed, Suam. Haha, <laughs> now you realize my greatness. You said it was a spell, and you had to dance as well to open it? Oh, that is... I needed to dance to keep with the beat. Got it. Shall we get inside and check out the place, Suam? Uh, my waist hurts from the dance. Unfortunately, you have to go alone today, human. I see bubbles from the crevice. I should place the crab trap auto made for me. <coughs> you can now use crab traps. Put some bait in the trap and place it in certain rocky crevices. Upon catching, the, upon catching a crab, the crab trap will start shaking. Remember, unretrieved crab traps disappear when you leave the water. Make sure to retrieve them. But first, Topaz. Let's see, cancel channel rare species increases if you use higher grade bait. Good, it's ready. You should come back later. It'll take some time until something takes the bait. Was it already shaking? I mean, if higher grade bait increases the chances of getting a better one, I may as well grab the stuff from around here. But, while we're here, I may as well take care of this. There must be a switch to operate the Divine Tree Control Room inside. My gut feeling is this passage will cause me trouble, but I have no other choice. I need to be careful. First Glacial Cave. A piece of strange rotating equipment is blocking my way. I think I can start it by myself. And I may as well grab this. Equipment is working, and the stakes started moving. I must avoid them. You don't say. Out here. The passage down there is blocked by the ice. We should do something with this rotating equipment. Well, let's see what this does.
Okay, I need to rotate this in a manner. That should do for that. That might do it. Let's find out. Good, the ice is broken. Time to go on down. Rather roundabout, sir. Is that phrase for it? Well, it does just say rather odd way to go about breaking ice, but whatever. Oh, these little suckers are hostile. And yeah, you can see even with the upgraded harpoon, it's still taking us a few hits to get them. <gasps> yes, topaz. I, I will say this, before we hit the final area, we want to have the steel net trap. Not gonna say why, but we want it. We'll gather up some materials while we're here. Because why not? The room? This is the statue of King Long, but it looks somewhat strange. This pose is slightly different from that of King Long. The mural. Maybe it means that we have to fix him up. I'd agree. Okay, that's his one arm fixed. Rotated enough. There we go. Okay, that's one down. Wow, oh. is this really the ancient sea people's technology? Impressive. Here's some noise from afar. It must be the first contraption Niamo told me about. I guess that saves us a trip through the spikes. The path is open now. Let 
me return to the village and tell Tenjin about this. I am hungry. Well, at least this beam doesn't seem to hurt me. Yeah, there's one outside. Now the question is, can I go back there? I can, and hopefully it would allow me to get more topaz, which would help speed up the process. Alright, what have we got? Horsehair crab. Alright, I caught a horsehair crab. You should take it to Mima. And we will, eventually. But, I think we should go around and try to gather some more resources. You know, make this trip even more worthwhile. And maybe find the more crab crevices, I guess you could call them. There's one. And I'm not gonna do that. I need that. Uh, let's do this. Arctic telescope fish. Higher quality bait means more crabs, or higher quality crabs, I guess. And thankfully it does mark where the crab is, or crab trap is. Which is very handy for us. Now, can I go further down? Okay, no, we can't. Fine, fine. Uh, trying to catch the fish without a net trap right now is not really a good idea. They're too tough for even the best harpoon. Well, Crab Trap caught something. Alright, what do we got this time? Just one horsehair crab. Yay. I was hoping for more given what we put in. Ah oh well. Heck, I think we actually got a lower quality one. Yeah, we did. Maybe because it was a hostile fish? Ah oh well, doesn't matter. Let's go up through the maze, grab what we can. Especially in terms of minerals. And then we will skedaddle back to the Sea People Village. And I may as well try to capture this one alive. <laughs> No thanks. Alright, I'll see you guys once I've gotten through this. Okay, I was just going to see you back in the Sea People Village, but we found an ice gun. A gun that fires frost bullets. It can stack coldness to freeze targets and inflict significant damage when followed up with attacks from other weapons. Wow, a bone chilling gun that can freeze anything. Shiver runs down my spine. Right. Well, let's see how well it works on the pork beagle. Just go with the harpoon. It's 
suppose it depends on how well you can can uh, quickly aim and shoot them. Alright, time to get out of here. Horsehair crab, how did you get one? Used a crab trap. You can lure them into the trap with bait. Yeah, I think I've read about it. Anyway, this is great. Horsehair crab is most delicious and nourishing when steamed. I have a steamer. I can cook it for you any time for you in no time. <laughs> Here allow me. Steam this crab to perfection. Almost makes me want to eat it. <laughs> Make sure you don't. Here, come to the door so I can give it to you. Here, I packed it up for you. Please give it to Dua. And of course, I gotta carry it. Alright, this might take a little bit. I'll see you guys at the workshop. should be inside, right? I should give him some steamed horsehair crab for his coughs. So that nasty cough still hasn't gone away. Here, why don't you try this? Huh? Steamed horsehair crab? Why did you... Got one in the glacial area and give it to Mima. She cooked a delicious meal out of it. Say it's good for coughing. Try it. Mm. Looks warm and delicious. Let me try. I'm bursting with energy. It's been a long time since I felt this way. I've never seen you so energetic before. Thank goodness. <laughs> I doubt I'm completely cured, but still, it's giving me a good boost. Thanks, Dave. I can't give you much right now, but here, take this. I wasn't hoping for a reward, but thanks, I'll put it to good use. For the sake of everyone who's worried about me, I'll do my best to get my health back. Drop by the workshop anytime. Divine Tree Fruit Fragment. Okay. I... Don't know what I can do with that. Sure, they can be used to enhance guns, but in what way? I am interested. Also, jade is a good thing to sell around here. I, I already saw where it was. I'm just looking around at the other things. Uh, how much do those coral arms cost? Three hundred. I do have the cash for it, but I think I'm better off holding off on that. Anyways, let's go see Tenzin, see what he has to say about all this. Missed my turn. Yeah. Mm. 
Miyamo told me the story. The divine tree control room is malfunctioning and that is causing earthquakes, yes? Yes, and we need to operate three switches to enter the control room. I already activated one of them. Well done! I am ashamed of our people having to rely on you in this matter. Please, don't be. Earthquakes are a problem for us, too. I remember something. It was written in one of the ancient books. After some workers mutated into Gadons due to Engineer Dashe's schemes, my ancestors created switches to access the control room and scattered them in the glacial area. They created those switches to tend security. But they have turned into obstacles now denying access to the control room. It's still cold, but the heat coming from the ground is melting the ice. Maybe the control room is overheating, causing the water temperature to rise. I stabilize the device, and the water temperature will return to normal. I know it's rather pol impolite to ask of me, but please hurry, before our ancestral home is completely destroyed. There are two doors remaining. I'll try locating them. Alright. I am going to go and s try and catch some pelican eel. Oh. Okay. You haven't found it yet? Where did you search? I searched the whole village with no luck. Hmm? What's going on, Ramo? Oh, Dave. I think the beluga has suddenly gone missing. If he's not in the village, he could have gone to the other side of the glacier passage through the open door. He is a very curious kind, you know. You didn't hide him, did you, human? Why would I? Alright, I'll let you know if I find him. Thanks. Now, Wang, Awang, what are you doing? Go find the beluga. Missing Beluga, and it's Golvin, which means it's important. But not as important as me getting some pelican eel skin. I wish I knew where there was more places to get some pelican eel. Uh, you know what, I may as well also try and catch some vampire squid. See if I can get some more, uh... Get some more roe from it, so I can start breeding them. Come on, pelican eel skin. Yes! Again, I really wish there was more than one. Maybe there is and I'm just not seeing it. Yeah, stupid confusion. Oh well, we're basically full up at this point. So we may as well leave. Now, Mima did mention that she would fry or uh, steam us up a horsehair crab any time. Let's see if that's actually a thing or Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Now, anytime we try to call the beluga, we're instead gonna get the manatee. That's a manatee, not a beluga. Looks very slow. 
I have no choice. I should ride it. Wow. And this is me holding down the sprint trigger. Okay, yeah, no. I could get around faster Dave by himself. Just one more reason to go after the manatee as soon as possible. I may as well expand the field. And I guess... Oh, shoot. I forgot to resume my timer. Give me one moment. Okay, I have genuinely no clue on how much time passed, so I'm just gonna guess and then we're gonna go from there. Alright, back to the boat. May as well unload some of this. Plus it'll give a chance for the pelican eel to respawn. Okay, horse and cram only gets me three meat though. Huh. See blobfish, hot dog, horse hair crab row. So we can get row from the the uh crabs as well. Yeah, I forgot to check this. Don't really need that. Waterproof box, nah, underwater scooter, no thanks. Hmm. You know what? Give me a moment to look up, see if there's more than one pelican eel I can uh, try to pick up. Okay, so it looks like that is the only spawn for the pelican eel. Lol. Uh. Eh, wouldn't matter. I don't have the coral orbs or the topaz to try and use the hush dart on it. Damn shame. I could bring along my tranquilizer rifle. Yeah, that would probably work. Uh, is there anything else? Some weeds there right now. Yeah, I should head to the farm. Well, no, I could. You know, let's get some nutrient compost and a harvest up fertilizer. Nutrient compost. Restore the nutrients for the rice paddy field. And then I guess I'm just gonna head down, try to get some more pelican eel skin, and then get back to the glacier passage. Or glacial area. I mean, technically I'm going to both, but still. And I may as well grab those coral orbs. Even if I don't have the cash for it, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get them now. I can sell off some other things to get the 300 I need. Just need a little bit more. Not the topaz, but I can sell off some opal ore. Coral orbs. And that should do it. I just have to remember. 
do not die in the glacial passage or the glacial area while I do this. Or I will have no choice but to take those. Probably should have sold off some more things just so I would have some cash. Let's do this. Haha. -ha! On. Damn it. I may have to do some stalling or perhaps even some save scumming to get that. Huh. Never noticed these shrimp here before. White shrimp. Alright, I am going to head down to the glacial area. And I'm probably going to go around and collect up the topaz that I can get. And I will see you guys once we find the beluga. Or we'll get a cutscene. It's cold. Shubin, your clothes look very warm. Why don't you go inside and take a look? You're weaker than you look. Now I'll see you guys afterwards. What the? Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Gee, that was a huge soul bug. Uh, must be the species called Bathinomus. Scavenger of the deep sea. Looks bigger than I thought. This is a rare encounter. Let me take a picture of it. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's a picture, all right. Three creatures at once. Nope. There we go. Yeesh, that is creepy. Primarily because of the uh, the carcass. Okay, anyways, got that topaz. See you guys later. Okay then, so two things. One, I realized that I probably don't have enough time to find the beluga because... Finding the beluga will trigger a series of events that leads us to taking on the next switch, which I don't have the time for, but also, too, found Mjolnir. And this guy. Ow. Oh, of course, being stuck in the ice. Anyways, this is completely random to where you will find it, and I've never actually found it before. Anyways, smash away the ice, pull out the hammer. And we are worthy! Damn shame I can't really use it for all that much. Would have been cool. But yeah, we can swing it. We can throw it. And it is very cool, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to use it for all that much. A shame. Anyways, crab traps caught something. Snow crab and a horsehair crab. Nice. All right. Uh... 
course, is not very accurate. But if it hits something... Anyways, uh, I think, unfortunately, I'm going to have to end things off here. So let's just head back up and get out of here. Oh, also, I caught a Greenland shark alive. I also didn't get the third one because it's somewhere in the maze and I didn't want to risk triggering it. So, yeah. Let's see, Greenland Shark Row, Alaskan Pollock Row, Snow Crab Row, not bad, not bad at all. Oh, you brought a picture of something, can I see? Yeah, it's gross. So bug, I remember after seeing it in my backyard. Did you take this picture at my place? Uh, oh, it's underwater. I see it now. E really? Did the shark carcass not give it away? Or the ice? Yeah. Yes, it's a bathynomus. I'm sure of it. Mm. It's a fresh change from the usual pictures of fish. <laughs> I need to send it to the editor in chief right away. <laughs> Put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Yes, I'm sure they will. Wow, that's a lot of gold. <laughs> Okay, then. Well, like I said, I have no idea what I, uh, or how much time I have left. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, gonna have to end things off there for today. Maybe a little early, maybe a little late. I don't know. But anyways, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for an upload, and please leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.